Hey guys, my name's Gary, Grateful Recovering Alcoholic and Drug Addict. So, sober, I had a sober Christmas and uh, I will have a sober New Year's. New Year's is a tough time of holiday for drunks and drug addicts. So, um, especially newly sober drunks and drug addicts. It's good to have a game plan for New Year's. Um, kind of like Christmas, you know, have a game plan. Have an escape route in case you get yourself into a sticky situation that makes you uncomfortable. Um, for me, it's, it's like, you know, hanging around a bunch of drunks on New Year's is just, it's, it's, it's kind of never been my thing, but it's just not my thing, man. It's never been my thing. But for a lot of people, you know, being in the life of the party and, and hanging out in bars and with people that are drinking and going to Vegas and doing all that stuff, um, you know, a lot of people still, you know, like to do that, especially around New Year's or on New Year's Eve. It's not been my thing. I'm I'm the kind of guy that just likes to take it quiet, um, watch a movie. I'm fine being alone on New Year's. I'm, I don't need to be with anybody. Um, it doesn't make me depressed. It doesn't make me, I don't feel like I'm missing out anything. And I think that's what... You know, sobriety has brought that to me. Um, being that's just being comfortable in my own skin, and I'm I'm not always that you know comfortable in my own skin, but I don't feel the need to to be anywhere but uh, home on Christmas or New Year's Eve. Um, you know, on on Christmas Eve, I saw my family, and that was great, man. Um, during, during the holidays, uh, right before Christmas, day before Christmas, uh, two days before Christmas, we fed uh, 110 homeless people and clothed about 75. So uh, that made me feel really good. It was uh, thinking about other people besides myself during the holiday season. Here's the problem. When we get wrapped up in here, like, oh, my God, I got to be doing something for New Year's. Oh, my God. Everybody else is doing something. We, we can't uh, live our life trying, you know, trying to be other people or focusing on what everyone else is doing or, or how other people are living their lives. Um, when, you, when you start doing things that you enjoy, when you're not harming others, when you have a direction and a game plan that you want to take your life in, um, and life can be very uncertain. It can throw you curveballs and coming from the left and coming from the right, you know, and, um, life can be very difficult, but it's good to have a game plan. You can always deviate from your game plan. If, yeah, have a game plan, have an escape route, right? In case you get uncomfortable. So don't, don't go with someone in someone else's car, you know, say, Say uh, everybody's going to meet at such and such a place and you may get uncomfortable or you may just go, you know what, I'm not into this. And if you drove with someone else, you're kind of fucked for the night. You're kind of screwed. You're, like, you're going to be hanging out with them all night and you may be uncomfortable all night. You know, if they say, yeah, come with us, come, you know, you come with me. Say, you know what, I've got something to do, take care of. I'll meet you there and take your own vehicle. And that way you can leave whenever you want, you know. I'm not feeling well. I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm tired. I'm going to go home. Um, that's the best way. Don't trap yourself in, into a situation where you don't feel safe or, or you don't feel comfortable. Um, yeah, so New Year's, man. And, uh, there, you know, I got to hit the fentanyl thing because I lost my son to fentanyl September 20th of 2022. And it was the day that changed my life forever. Um, fentanyl. There's a lot of people hooked on that. It's uh, uh, if you're if you're if you're using fentanyl and you're buying street drugs, or if you're just buying street drugs, cocaine off the street, ecstasy off the street, it's just a matter of time before you get fentanyl in that batch, and you better hope it just doesn't have a lethal dose in it. It just takes a grain of salt sized piece of fentanyl to kill you. There's a lot of people that go out and they buy a gram of cocaine. They'll buy a gram of cocaine on New Year's. The, um, 
they'll snort that coke, they'll do a couple lines, and then they'll fall asleep and never wake up. They will be a statistic. And uh, they, they, they will leave their relatives and their loved ones with uh, uh, a very difficult situation. So when I lost my son, it changed my life forever. What I try to do is make people fentanyl aware. It's a living amends I have to my son. I make people fentanyl aware and I try to help people that uh, are in recovery, people that are in need. And uh, that's what I can do for my, you know, to give, it gives me some kind of inner peace over, uh, over his death. So fentanyl is the number one leading cause of death in the USA from ages 16 to 45. It's made in China and it's shipped to the Sinaloa cartel where they mix it up in bathtubs and buckets. They press it into pills and they scatter those pills throughout the United States. Sometimes those pills have enough uh, fentanyl to kill, you know, 20 people. If that pill isn't laser cut and laser lettered, don't put it in your mouth because it's probably not real. Pills that come from the pharmacy are laser cut and laser, they're perfectly cut, they're perfectly lettered. And if it looks, uh, uh, like it's not, don't put it in your mouth. It's probably made by the cartel. Uh, don't lose your life like my son did, you guys. So other than that, you guys, uh, stay safe. I'll make a couple more videos before uh, New Year's. It's Tuesday now, so uh, we've got a few days left. And uh, have a great holiday season and be safe.